Right, so what we've got here is all the components we need for the rear pony truck strike plate. I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what I'm going with, the strike plate. You saw me cut the 40 by 40 angle line at the beginning. I originally cut four and then realized I didn't need four, I needed two 40 by 40s and I needed two 30 by 30s. So I went back, I cut the 30 by 30, machined it square, made it look nice and pretty, put the holes in. The only thing you haven't seen me do is the countersinking, which I would have showed you, but my countersinks are absolutely rubbish. So if you know of any brands that are a reasonable price and a good quality countersink, then let me know. Put it in the comments so I can go and have a look. It's going to sit like that in there once I get a, an actual distance of where we want to put the plate. I'm just using these two pairs of, well I think they're a pair of old parallels but they're not matched. Um, so I'm using them as uh, basically straight edges to get everything level on the ends because we've got a lot of setting up to do on this bit. Now those other plates, the ones with the two holes in, these are what's going to help us get the holes drilled through everything. So this plate actually goes on the outside like so, acting as a little extra room for the, the pony truck to swing out if we ever need to, depending on the radius curve we're, um, we're on. Oh, there's a bit of dint there, we need to get rid of that first. So we need to get all this set up, lined up, and then I can drill the holes and then open everything up to take an 8mm bolt. It looks quite smart. I'm going to radius all these off obviously, I'm going to make sure they're nice. Very difficult, there's, there's, there's 100. I can just about see it. I need to get some blue I think. Or red, some engineer's blue or red, marking out fluid. I don't know what we could use. I could use a sharpie. Here's what I used earlier. So we'll, we'll redo those. At least we know where we're doing them. That was a great idea you had. So let's do that again, 130. Right, so from this plate here, 138 and a half, we'll just guess the half, that, yeah, we'll just guess the half, what's a half a mil between friends? Hopefully you can just see that, you can just see the line there, there, that's the centre, and then that's the end. Right, let's get this in, let's get this in. Oh, it's a tight fit. We're going to need a lot, we're going to need a lot of clamps. Oh, oh dear, oh, my bad. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Mm -hmm. 
That'll keep that nice and level because they're flat. So we need to clamp that to there. We need to move that one over here. Now we're cooking, now we're cooking. Right, so, so the easiest way to find a line is to put the straight edge on the metal and look for the line, which will be very difficult for you to see because you're the wrong side. Now it needs to go a little bit that way, which that's perfect. And that needs to go that way. We can see the line, it's perfect. Check the other side, you can see the line, it's perfect. That is fantastic. So now what we can do is we can put the clamps on to hold all that together. Now, because I've got to get in with the drill, I'm going to turn them round. Oh, I can't turn them round. Oh dear. Oh, this is, this is turning into a right cup of full. This is going to be interesting to drill, isn't it? All that engineering and then we just use a normal, a normal drill to drill the holes. I think we'll put the eight in there. Maybe we're not. Oh, now I can get a bolt in. <laughs> How does everybody cope on these small engines? This is uh not a small engine and it's not easy to work on. Perfect. All the bearings will run across that, no problem. I've decided I'm going to put a 10 mil bolt in here, not an 8 mil. So I've got a 9.5 and then I'm going to ream it out. Now this is not how you ream. But it's how I'm doing it. So all I've got to do now to this plate is put the rounded corners on and then I can put it back together again. Done. Rounded. Finished it off with file, did it with grinder, and then finished it off with file. So now we'll get it back together again. Uh -huh. I see what the problem is.
There we go. She's in. She's in. Oh. I come to this side and I'm crack handed. I can't seem to hold the bloody ratchet. So we've now got that plate on, which is a huge step forward, and we can now continue. with the pony truck. We can now make the top sections and we can make the bar that goes on. So we're nearly there, we're nearly done in another 10 episodes. Join us again for more trials and tribulations on building a steam engine. And if you like what you've seen in the video, then please do, by all means, click the subscribe button down at the bottom and the notification bell. And you'll be notified when we next release a video. And talking of videos, if you click up here, you may like that one. And if you click down there, you may like that one too. Stay safe. Laters.